All right, this is Strip Day 2 of ABN, and we're here with Lexi Love. Hi, everybody. Welcome to AEE 2013. How are you doing over here? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I am good. How are you, how are you enjoying the show so far? I really, I'm, I'm loving it. Like, I haven't been back to um, AEE since 2010. Oh, really? Yes, it's the first time I'm seeing everything at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. It's a little different, isn't it? You know, I really like it. I think it's more intimate for the fans. Uh, I feel that Hard Rock really embraces having us here, and they love having us here. They love titties here. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, overall. Yeah. I love titties, too. Okay, well, that's three of us, and we're all good. Let's go home now. <laughs> All right, so wait, now this is your booth, right? Um, I'm sharing it with Eric John. It's actually, well, technically it's his booth. Eric John here. Uh -huh. well, well, we'll bring him in real quick. Hi. No, no okay, we'll, we'll do him after. We'll do him all by himself because he's, he's a guy all by himself. So what, what are you guys uh, selling here? Okay, so I have my DVDs. I so these are you? Um, yes, these are me. And then also, um, I was in an HBO series called Look. Direct no way. Yeah, by um, Adam Rifkin. And me and Ron Jeremy were in this together. No way. Yeah, I love oh. Ronnie. So Ron, Ron is cool. Ron is a cool guy. So you can get this here. You can get it on Hulu, but it's mainstream. And it's done by HBO. Oh, right on. Yeah, and um, it's directed again by Adam Rifkin. He's the one who did Detroit Rock City and um, Underdog. Oh, and right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was really yeah. fun and nice of him to think of me for it. And then... Um, so that's the, more of the softcore. That's the mainstream stuff, right? Right. Okay. But then we have Exotic Interludes, which is like strip poker meets Monopoly. I just directed my first film for this game, no so way. it'll be coming out shortly. I'm very excited, and um, I'm also the CEO of the game. And oh, no way. Yeah, so I was a spokesperson for it before I, I took a short break to go back to school, and um, now I'm back, and I have brought the game with me, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to explore sexuality. So what's the object of the game is just to, uh, is it kind of like adult truth or dare kind of? Well, kind of, sort of. So here are some of, oops, those are the problems. Yeah, show this to me. Okay. i got to see this. So here's some of the ladies' cards. I have to turn them towards me so I can read them. In your opinion, do you think blondes, brunettes, or redheads are sexier? And this is the guy card. So you go around the board and you'll get these cards from time to time when you land on the spaces. Right. We have another one. Have you ever masturbated to a picture of a lover? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> Busted with a hooker, go to court and pay a fine of $100, lose oh, one turn. Oh, nasty, nasty, I nasty. know. So we have all kinds of different cards. And then for the ladies, we have, let's see, collect one article, close of your choice from each player. Oh, I like that. I choose any player and send them to the Butterfly Lounge if they happen to have a butterfly tattoo. Kiss it. <laughs> nice. I think that's a guy card. Yeah, I think I'm mixed in here. I'm like, that didn't sound right yeah, for the yeah, ladies. Yeah. I don't think many guys have butterfly tattoos. Well, in San Francisco, lots of them do. Oh, they could be. Yeah. Um, would you let another player undress you? If so, ask for a volunteer with a $500. I think if I could get anybody to play with me, I'd let them. Exactly. <laughs> that would bulk you. You just. We also have like softer version cards, which are these ones. We have ladies' cards and men's cards, and they just say temptation, passion. We have erotica, so you can kind of make the game up as you go if you're not comfortable with getting undressed. So, but the person who doesn't want to get undressed gets five of these cards, which represent five articles of clothing. Oh, so nice. Then maybe by then they'll be warmed up enough to uh, start giving you real art. So this could be for a couple or even some swingers that get together and they just kind of want to start slow and work their way into exactly. it and, and do it. So you can you can adjust the, the level of the gameplay then. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, and it's been a lot of fun to actually have a product and get to direct my first film. And Eric John was in it. And so was Ron Jeremy and nice. Tasha Rain and Brittany Amber, uh, Georgiana Heat, who's right over there in the lacy oh, nice. um, blue dress. Just a lot a lot of great people and uh, I had a lot of fun too. Um, Scott David from X-Play helped me um, produce it. Nice, nice. So I was very lucky. I have a really great cast and a really great team. So if, if they're not here at the show, where can they find the game? Um, exo exoticinterludes.com. Cool. That is very cool. I mean, I definitely have to look into that. That is cool. So what else, what else have you been doing throughout the last couple of years here? Um, I went back to school. Um, what did you major in? Um, I didn't. I just I was taking some writing and some English oh, classes. Oh, okay. As uh, I, I'm quite poor in that area. Um, me too. Me too. I'm horrible. Uh, and then blogging is such a big part of the business. And I know. When I was going to school the first time for engineering, everyone's like, "Oh, we'll have programs for that by the time you know you need them." Well, the programs still kind of suck. <laughs> so you went for engineering originally? Originally. Like, like stopped going to engineering to get into porn. Wow. 
I'm kinky. That's, a, that's kind of a sidestep, you know? Well, you know, the industry was, in yeah, industry was interesting, and um, it was, you know, we saw things go from basically like print to digital. I had yeah. no idea when I got in that the industry was going to become so big. Now, you've kind of been a, a, kind of a, a person that's built their own career kind of through social media and doing your own thing, your own website and stuff. How do you think that works into this economy right now? Um, it really varies. I mean, it just varies on who your fans are and how many other different things you do. You know, it's like I like to work on a lot of different projects, as you can see. I'm always willing to help somebody out if they seem genuine and have something that I'm interested in as well. So it just depends. The economy is different now, and it's really what people like, what they're going to pay for if they want to pay for it. Right, right. Now, you've been blogging for a long time, right? I have been. Um, blog is a little bit bad shape. We just did a redesign on it. Oh, no. A lot of the content didn't transfer. Uh-oh. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I didn't do it. Normally, I've, I've done all my own, like, WordPress designs and everything in the past, but hot movies. You're kind of like a nut and bolt girl. You get in there and make it happen, right? I like to know how things work, and I like to be responsible for everything. And so, it's like, if there's something wrong, I like to be able to fix it or let somebody else know how to fix it. Do you hear that, guys? A hot-looking girl making her own wet word WordPress templates and shit? Is that hot or what? <laughs> it's a, I'm a little bit of a geek. You know? I think it's hot. I think, you know, well, one thing leaving engineering and coming into porn is that we've led the tech industry for such a long time. The porn industry has. So it's like when CES was with, you know, the same time as AEE, it was a great experience for me because I didn't really give anything up. I just exactly. got a whole lot more. You got a new, you got a new playground to, to play with the technology. Exactly. And people are, you know, fairly open to talk to porn stars. It, well, yeah, because they're hot. I mean, come on. That's true. <laughs> so is there anything else you want to talk about and promote before I let you go here? Because I know you got... Um, I gosh, I don't know. Your website, maybe? Oh, yeah, LexiLove.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at TheLexiLove. And uh, my Facebook is LexiLove as well. LexiLove.com has all the... All the main stuff you know, where you want to go and see the hot pictures and stuff. Exactly. And now I can get the videos there too? Um, we have VOD right now with hot movies on my site. Um, oh, right on. And I'll be releasing later on in the year content that I shot for my own production company back in the day. Right on, right on. So. All right, well, thank you so much for taking time with us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for taking time with me. Oh, absolutely. Thanks. Bye, guys.